All right guys, so um, I had this problem with my Express LRS receiver and I know that a lot of you guys out there have experienced a similar problem. Um, I've experienced this on previous um, flight controllers as well. Um, just haven't gotten around to making a video, so I'm gonna make a quick video here today. So if you have an Express LRS receiver with um, the ESP chip and ones that have Wi-Fi, then on certain F411 boards, and also some F4 boards, the um, uh, the receiver will go into bootloader mode as soon as you power up the quad. And you'll notice that the uh, receiver light will be a solid color, like usually like a solid orange or a solid green, whatever the LED color is on that particular um, manufacturer's model. And it doesn't respond to anything, so it doesn't connect to your transmitter, you can't flash it, it's just it's stuck in bootloader mode. It's just basically waiting for you to do something to the, um, the receiver. And the reason is the um, certain ones of these um, F411 boards are missing a component, like some kind of pull-up resistor or something like that. Um, I don't really understand the technical details, but basically I think it has something to do with the UART that you're connected to, the receiver's connected to, and something to do with inversion and SBUS or something like that. Anyway, uh, honestly, it, it, the technical details aren't that important. The, the the thing that's important is to, in terms of the solution, is just simply switch to the different to the other UART. So, in this model here, this is the new Dytone Roma F4 with their new um, all-in-one flight controller board. We have a review, and this will come be coming up pretty soon. But um, yeah, this all this this board has an F411 chip on here. This is like a 20 by 20 board, of course. Uh, there are, of course, a lot of other F411 based flight controller, all in flight controllers um, from uh, various other manufacturers that also have this problem. They're based on the F411, um, they're, but they're like whoop, whoop style flight controllers. But in any event, those are also ones that are gonna have like basically two UARTs. And I think typically a lot of them have problems where the receiver is connected to UART one. So you can see here, my receiver's back there. It's wired this way, and it's going to this UART right here. And there was basically, if you look at the wiring diagram of this flight controller, the, the UART one uh, pinouts are on this side, and this is the RX and TX over here. But I only have the VTX TX connected on this side here in UART one now because I swapped this already. So I already done the swap. So I've taken the two wires from this bundle and moved it to the other side of the board where UART two is, and I desoldered the uh, smart audio cable on TX2 and I put it on TX1 on this side. And that's all you gotta do. So it is, obviously it's gonna, your solution is gonna change based on uh, your flight controller's model and you're gonna have to look up your wiring diagram for your particular model. But all you gotta do is swap uh, the UART, just move it to another UART. So um, if you're on UART1, it's not working, just switch it to a different UART, an open UART or um, Swap it with a, you know a, a, a UART that is occupied with something else, and uh, obviously video transmitters don't have this problem, so you can easily swap uh, VTXs and also Vistas if you have a Vista to the other UART. So I moved um, this, which was on UART two, to UART one, and then on the other side where UART two is, you can now see here. I moved th those are the two wires that were previously on UART one. We're now here on UART 2, and that yellow wire there is the uh, uh, video out to the VTX. That's it. Um, that's all I did. I swapped the wires, switched UART 1 to UART 2, and vice versa. I swapped those two components. You have to do the same thing in the Betaflight Configurator, of course, on the ports tab. You're going to have to swap. Uh, serial RX to the other UART and uh, uh, VTX Smart Audio to the other UART and that'll solve your problem. Um, I've done this now on I think four or five different flight controllers and they've all been the ones with the F411. I've heard some people have had this issue with certain F4s and typically it's UART 1 that's the problem and it has I think it has something to do with the SBUS um, signal on that UART being inverted or something like that. But the solution is simple, just move it to a different UART and you should be good to go. 
And now, um, yeah, this works. I'm, I have this on Express RS on the, uh, this is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, Namino receiver. And I'll be testing this out pretty soon, so you'll see a video on that uh, coming up pretty soon. Okay, so hopefully um, this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you like these kind of little quick tip videos. Um, they're easier for me to make, and but you know, I don't, I don't really usually get a lot of requests for these kind of things uh, for like these shorter, shorter videos. And uh, but I've been getting this question a lot recently. I think a lot of people are running into this problem because people like to use these smaller Express LRS receivers on smaller quads, and a lot of them have the all-in-one flight controllers and um, all, a lot of them have that problem with you are at one not working properly and putting these um, Express LRS receivers with the ESP chip into bootloader mode on power up. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Um, if you want to see more of these, let me know as well. I'll be interested in hearing your feedback on that. That's going to do it for this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.